Hi, I have a, an Emacs tip involving the transpose word function that I'd like to use as a springboard to customize Emacs using the little known advising feature. Now this might be useful for uh, beginning to intermediate e-list programmers. I'm going to start with my problem. When I'm typing, I often seem to forget things. And it's only at this point that I realize that, oh, I should have put another word just before the one I just typed. Well, here's the, the trick. You just type the word that you want. Hit meta T twice. It flips the, two la the last two words around, and it puts the cursor at the end. Sure, I could have used meta B and meta F to go back and forth, but I find all that cursor jumping around to be kind of disconcerting when I'm trying to just get some thoughts out. Now, why does this whole thing work, and why does this trick work in particular? Well, let me show you a little bit about how the transpose word function works. So, here's some text. And here I've got the word jumped and over, and it's flipped in the wrong spots. So, I can put the cursor um, anywhere between the second, word, second letter in the first word to the first word in the second letter. Anywhere uh, in that little range there, hitting meta T will flip those two words around. Usually you would probably put the cursor right between the two words before doing it, but like I say, either way works. Now, um, when it flips these words around, it puts the cursor at the end. Now, why does it do that? Well, another example here. First, let me um, get some more text. I've got some here in a register. Here I've got the word the repeated. So it's a little redundant, need to move it down a little bit. So once again, I need just to position the cursor right at the end of the word that I need to move, and then I just hit meta T. And since the cursor is always repositioned after the move, I can just kind of keep on going down until I get the the in the right place. That's just kind of a side effect of being able to push a word through a paragraph. It even works with um, with a, a predicate number. Like, um, here, let, let me show you. Put another word there, and let's get that. So here we go. So I hit meta 5, meta T, and it puts the, the five words farther along the way. Okay, now, going back to my little tip and trick, I guess. The quick fox, and then I type brown. Now, what happens at this point, since there's not two words that the cursor is between, hitting meta T actually throws an error. However, one of the side effects of that error is to reposition the cursor in a good place where I can now flip these two words around. And that got me thinking, why would I throw an error if I'm at the end of the word, or at the end of the line? Might as well just kind of fix that up. And being Emacs, we can customize the hell out of it, right? Okay, so let me write a little function to do just that. So I'm going to call it my transpose words. And it's going to take a single arg. Um, yeah, because it's going to take a numeric prefix, just like the regular transpose words. That means that this needs to be lowercase, uh, so it'll turn, um, convert it into a number. And now I just need to have a little conditional. If looking at the end of the line, then I just need to go backwards a word. Whoops. There we go, and I just need to go back one, and no matter what happens, I then can call the regular transpose words and pass in the argument. There we go. Going to evaluate that, and oh, I should probably um, probably set this key here such that meta t will call my transpose words function. All right, let's see how this works here. Pop back over here, give me a new line. 
the quick fox brown and meta t and there it goes it calls my transpose word function flips things around just the way it should be and my guess is that this will work too meta Technically, this isn't the way we normally um, manipulate functions like this. Sure, it works, but what would probably be a little better is if we do an advise function, where we kind of give some little bit of magic that we want to happen either before or after another function. So, let's see, let's get rid of this. Okay, so let's um, reevaluate this to get rid of the um, my little function here, which means we can probably just get rid of all of this. Now let's start again. The function that we want to use is called define advice. Now, define advice takes the function we want to advise. In this case, it's going to be the transpose words, and then it takes uh, a little list that gives it some, you know, I guess some extra information like this function that I'm going to give it should happen before, and I need to uh, name my advice, so I'm just going to use my old my transpose words. Now um, we can even give it um, some documentation, you know, kind of like we normally do. I'm just going to do something like this, and then we just have to give the stuff we want to have happen before we call transpose words. Once again, if looking at the end of the line, then call backward word. That's it. That's all we need to do to create this advising function. But of course, we actually have to turn it on. So we have to activate it. Activate transpose words. Oh, this is a symbol. Now we go. Okay, let's try this out now. Let's pop back over here. Let's try out my quick fox and brown meta t. Notice we're calling transpose words and it flips things around when it's at the end of the line. And if I happen to have a word like this and meta 5, there we go. Now, it's working just the way we want it to. You see, I, this is just uh, crafting Emacs is some of the things I just love doing. Get it working just the way I want it to. Hope you've enjoyed this. 